Hey y'all, welcome to Stationeers. Here in the research lab, I have created something beautiful. To me, it's beautiful. It's kind of in, a, in what is that word? Inefficient, but it works. Works good enough for me, so I'm happy with that. Before we jump into everything, I want to thank the two people who really helped me out with this the most. Even though they did nothing indirect, it's just the knowledge that they gave to everyone. That would be Mick over at Cows Are Evil. Y'all should go check him out. He's a mad genius. His tutorial system on how to write IC code is absolutely amazing. Now, if he can take a backwoods country boy from Kentucky like me and turn them into someone who can functionally write code, then he can teach anyone. I mean, fam, listen to me. My skill set involves marrying an attractive wife and the ability to take a weapon apart and put it back together really fast. That's my skill set. Well, video games, but hey, we all have that skill set, right? <laughs> I mean, come on. But I mean, seriously, this is cool. What I was able to learn from Mick helped me over here. The math, some of the math came from Mick, but a lot of the math actually came from a guy named Elmo. He has a YouTube channel as well. I'm gonna link that down below. Now, Elmo is an insane magician. This guy, it, yeah, anyway, my stuff is nowhere on his level, but the math and how to math came from him. And like I said, some of the math also came from Mick over at Cows Are Evil. Now let's jump into this, all right? This is my fully automated advanced furnace and it is not combustion powered. Actually, every time I tried to write code for a combustion powered advanced furnace, booms happen and they weren't the friendly booms they were the kill me boom <laughs> so running over all of this we have our hot tank and our cold tank and it's very simple i'm on a uh, bullion right now which is why i'm doing it so i'm able to collect code bullion whatever looping lopping air so i got a program over here that basically kicks these filters on at a certain temperature on venus where i normally play this would be slightly more complicated over here, I have a system that's just basically combusting water inside this room, which I heated up to uh, self-ignite temperature. And I'm just filtering out all the CO2. Now I'm using CO2 as a coolant and I'm using CO2 as a heat source. And that is just a nod to Venus because Venus is my home. Y'all listen to me fam, best map ever is Venus. Now, let me turn F2 off here so I can see my little crosshair. I just want to come over here and show you guys what power is this. We have six IC chips and two memories. I'm not a great coder, so I had to do a lot of things. I couldn't figure out how to condense stuff. So that's, that's as far as my condensing goes. But let's jump into the examples, right? You know what? Let's make, let's make steel. Yeah, steel still will be a great thing now this isn't fully finished the coding over here i'm still working on a few things like adjusting these diodes and these uh, total mold counters here getting them programmed but that's pretty simple that's why i figured you know i can go ahead and jump in right here let me go ahead and just spin this up to steel so right here there will be uh some consoles and it will tell you what or and in what ratio to put in to make steel so i thought that'd be a cool little addition that's going to be tacked on there too but again like i said it's not it's not something that difficult to do so that's why we're going ahead and doing this example here now once you've loaded in all your materials and you've selected what you want up there on the dial you hit the fire button and stand back a little bit just in case okay we're good we're good this thing shouldn't blow up it's like i said it's it's not combustionated so it's not something that will kill you instantaneously. Right, we, we are getting pressure up. Now, as you can see, the pressure in whenever you're making something, it, it fluctuates. You know, I understand uh, the math to a certain degree, but I can't quite convey math into this. And bloop. by the way, it falls from way up there. I thought that would be funny. Uh, uh, raining ignorance, baby. Raining ignorance. All right, let's toss that still away. Let's go to something a little bit more sensitive. A simple, sensitive one. Let's make some solder. And that would be right there. Let's go ahead and fire it for solder. Now, this one is a low temp 
kind of mild pressure one i can't remember what is it uh pressure is whatever but the temperature range is very low and there it is solder pops right out as you can see that everything kind of bounces it's very wasteful on the type of resources it uses and I, like i said that's just that's just me not having math situated all right here's another difficult one let's go ink and tell all the way up and down one because the last one i kind of put these in order too by the way of what i thought was more of a pain in the buttocks to make and ink and tell is one of those that is very painful and this is where you guys are going to see the math right you're going to see the math kind of kind of fire off a little bit now for ink and tell what do we need what do we need for ink and tell over here look at this we got a uh we got a very tight pressure range with a low temperature on ink and tell oh no no i'm sorry it's just a very tight pressure range now this right here is where you're really going to see it fluctuating it just goes the pressure just goes up and down up and down up and down and that's why we have the auto eject system in here so that it when it does pop <laughs> it will spit it out all right here we go we're getting close in of the 20k we need in between 23 and 24 but 23.5 and 24 this is going to snatch it up as soon as we get to the green mark and spit it out but let me just show you the stabilization here as you can see we go above 24 and it just keeps bouncing around the above 24 area it's not it's not perfect yeah because i'm not i'm not like i said i'm not the greatest coder in existence but hey i try now we're gonna what is this again yeah buddy let's go for the big boy here this is the one that always gave me problems. This is this is what I call the splody boy right here. Let's go ahead and pop you in and pop you in. And let's go ahead and activate you for this one. Make sure everything is getting good. That's gonna this hurts your off gas and it's gonna really help get the pressure up. Now the one thing about Waspaloy, Waspaloy, if I'm saying that right, it has a low temperature range and a really high pressure range. So it's the temp that we're we're working on here. Now this exploded <laughs> a couple times here. Uh, this always worries me getting up here because you get real close. Like this thing starts making all kinds of crying noises. All right, <laughs> here comes here comes the tears, fam. Here comes the furnace tears. We are good on pressure, as you can see. We're keeping the pressure way down low. Are we looking on fuel? Yeah, we're using a lot more of the heat side than we are the cold side right now. And boop, wasp alloy. And then we can come over here, the emergency shut off, shuts the system down. Now, this whole focus here, the whole point of this video is just to showcase what you can do with a little bit of effort when it comes to stationers. This game lets you do some really crazy cool fun things. By the way, these are composite roll covers from the standard door kit it is the third option and look at that they just make perfect little covers don't they so cool i've seen that in another video and i was like amazed about it i thought that was I thought that was really cool but back to what i was saying with a little bit of time and effort and a good teacher you can do pretty much anything now i would need permission from mick to upload this simply because I will come over here and I will show you right here. This one, I think. Yeah, right here. This was showcased in his branching tutorial on how to do, when was it branching or was it slots? I can't remember, it was one of those videos. But anyway, I basically took his example here, modified it for my needs, which I needed it. To, I need zero to be a, a separate state. So I had to do some multiplication and subtraction to get the thingy to roll to above zero and then basically i couldn't make it any cleaner than that so i have to skip a line in between because it'll go here and then the the jump will send it to here to here to here so this is this section right here is straight out of his video except for the spacing part so i would need his permission when it comes to Elmo, I don't think I need his permission because he even stated in one of his videos that he got a lot of the math from Reddit users and things like that. But it wouldn't matter because I could never make something like that man's thing. That man's 
freaking automated furnace spits stuff out like a freaking machine gun. It is insane. You can't do that with mine. You have to kind of go at a slow progress, but that's not the point. The point of this is anybody, anybody can make these things. Anybody can make these crazy IC contraptions. All you need is a little bit of guidance and the perfect place to, man, this is really turning into like a, like an infomercial for a mixed channel as, as it should go to his channel. Cows are evil. Watch his tutorials learn i see you will enjoy stationers a lot when you are making some crazy automation happen and as always fam i am going to enjoy my time on stationers i hope you enjoy yours and i will catch you next time